I recognize in these demonstrations a demonstration of the instinctive refusal of many, many millions of people to find their lives and their civilization put into such jeopardy as it is now being placed in by the development of nuclear weaponry. A country which says we cannot live without these weapons, we cannot defend ourselves without them, is in a poor position to turn to 150 other governments in the world and say, well, it's all right for us to have them, but it'd be wrong for you to have them. It just won't work. The really essential thing is to make these governments understand not just that other people are indignant and are upset about this, but why they are indignant and why they are upset, and to get it into the heads of the people in government. This is not just mass emotion. There is good reason for these feelings. This is all the more true today than it was then because the vast numbers of these weapons that have accumulated on both sides mean that today any use of them whatsoever would run an absolutely unacceptable risk of releasing a general nuclear catastrophe.